I tried sometimes to expand our range a little to talk about, I don't know, climate change, but she found that kind of boring, so. God. I mean, she, she was probably right. I mean, fuck the planet, right? <laughs> yes, thank you. What you just saw was one of the last scenes of Black Mirror's Nosedive, an episode that, much like the rest of the series, is disquieting because it's eerily similar to our current relationship with technology. The dark tone of each episode draws viewers in, asking what will happen when our obsession with technology gets out of hand. The third season of Black Mirror, especially the last episode, also begins to interrogate the relationship between technology and climate change in a fascinating way. The last episode, titled Hated in a Nation, critiques the idea that our hopes for environmental salvation rest on advanced technology. But ultimately, Black Mirror is all about the human psyche, relationships, and the way in which gadgets, like phones, alter the other two. And in that vein, Hated in the Nation provides an excellent example of how our desire to save ourselves via advanced technology can be tainted by crumbling morals. In a sense, Hated in the Nation shows that technological advancements might be able to help mitigate climate change, but our capacity to use such world-changing inventions ethically is doubtful. The narrative of Hated in the Nation hinges on ADIs, or automated drone insects. These insects are intended to replace a crumbling bee population and ideally save the UK from environmental collapse. While this clearly hasn't reached the real world yet, it's hard not to draw comparisons. As the creator of the show, Charlie Booker, explains, we are trying to extrapolate from things that exist now, so in a way, similarities are bound to happen. In 2015, US beekeepers lost 44% of their bee colonies. As a result, researchers like Ijiro Miyako have started to try their hand at creating small autonomous pollinator drones. And this desire to save ourselves with techno fixes has even turned to the sky, with geoengineering strategies popping up left and right. The concept of geoengineering has often been thought of as a silver bullet solution to climate change. And ideas range from dimming the sun by emitting aerosols into the air, known as the Pinatubo option after the volcano in the Philippines, to fertilizing the oceans with iron to pull carbon out of the atmosphere. But as we see in Black Mirror, these theoretical fixes work drastically different on the ground. And often that's due to our scientific hubris and thinking that we can predict every scenario that will happen. What if someone hacked one and then they found a way of controlling it? <laughs> that's impossible. You see, it's got military grade encryption. These geoengineering solutions are riddled with complications from the start. For one, they attack the symptom of the problem, a decline of the bee population, and let slide the root of environmental collapse, rampant consumption of fossil fuels and unsustainable use of natural materials. Essentially, by believing there might be a last minute techno fix to our mounting climate change problem, we allow ourselves to continue emitting at the same rate we have for the last few decades. In addition, because of the world-changing capabilities of geoengineering technologies, when implemented, they could theoretically be used in unethical or violent ways. Unlike our weather patterns now, climate change mitigation tech would mean trade-offs on a global scale at the hands of human beings. Naomi Klein drills into this dilemma in This Changes Everything. It's all too easy to imagine scenarios wherein geoengineering could be used in a desperate bid to, say, save corn crops in South Dakota, even if it very likely meant sacrificing rainfall in South Sudan. Similarly, the strongest firewalls will not stop a determined hacker. While technology like ADIs might do tremendous good, they also have to be controlled by someone. So ultimately, the course of the climate, or in Black Mirror's case, the UK's ecosystem, could be subject to the winds of someone like this. He is victim of day. There's one more to the point, the environmental oh, impact would- fuck that. Or this. Ultimately, Black Mirror hints at the immense capacity for harm these supposed planet-saving technologies can inflict if they fall into the wrong hands. So we need to think of geoengineering not as a cure-all for climate change, but as one piece of a larger strategy of systemic and cultural transformation. 
If we are arrogant enough to wait for technologies like ADIs to save us, then we will soon miss our opportunity for crucial change. This video was made possible in part by the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. If you're interested in helping me grow this channel, head on over to Patreon and pledge a small amount of money for every video I release. In return, I'll send you gifts like a handwritten thank you note or an Our Changing Climate sticker. As always, if you like what you just saw, share it around and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.